hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is nafola if you've not subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe uh, but if you've already subscribed to my channel i just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you for sharing my videos and thank you for even putting a comment on my video so today i want to talk about careers that when you land here you can make very good money very stable income by going to school for two months or less. You go to school for two months and you make a livable wage. You can get benefits, you can get insurance, you can get all that by going to school for one, two, two months only. Okay, so let me talk about this job that a lot of people either who win the DV lottery, who come here on like, you know, immigrant visa, working visa, who do it and make a livable wage without necessarily having to go through the stress of going to school to get a degree or going to school to get a master's or trying to like, you know, struggle with books and stuff like that. This is hands on training. A lot of African people, a lot of Asian people, a lot of immigrants who come here start from doing that job. And I'm not going to talk about like, you know, working in a grocery store, working in a grocery store, like working at Walmart, Wegmans, working like, you know, in this big store, BJ Cost. You don't need to go to school. Like literally you show up there as long as you know how to give change, you know how to sell products, you get the job. But guess what? The wage is not very high and then for the most part they don't have very good benefits unless you're working in a very you know big uh, grocery store you're not gonna have the benefits so that's the job that you can get and it's a good job but then most people with that they can't um, like live a comfortable life because you know they're just working on a minimum wage or you can also work at McDonald's and then also that way, like if you work in fast food, they make uh, like minimum uh, wage without going to school. So today I'll not be talking about that. And in my show, I'm all about empowering immigrants. So I want to show you something or tell you or teach you something that when you come here, even if you, that's the only job you do at the end of the day, if you play it smart, you will get your retirement, you'll get your benefits, you'll be able to live a livable wage just by doing that. You me when i came to america before i got like you know all my paperwork situated and all that my first job was doing like you know washing uh dishes in a, a restaurant i was doing dishes and the reason why i did dishes and got minimum wage is because nobody gave me advice nobody told me that you can actually do this that and that and actually make better income because a lot of people here they're not about empowering people i'll just be honest like some people they'll make it big they're making all this good money they're living a lavish life they're like everything is going on well for them when you ask them hey can you tell me how you got there guess what they say you ask them and they just say prayer we just pray and then stuff happens they will not tell you how they're getting the stuff. They will not tell you their business connections. They will not tell you their side business. They will not tell you nothing. They'll just tell you all this is a result of prayer. And that is our, like our African people. I don't know why we are like that. When people make it big, they don't want to tell you how they got there. How many people in Africa have relatives in America right now? And they've never told you how to get here. How many? When I was in Africa, I had like relatives. They're not like close relatives, but they were like, you know, distant relatives. They were in America for 20 years. I had graduated and all that. Do you think anybody told me how they got here? They just tell you, you know, it's so hard to get to America. It's so hard to get like, you know, scholarships and that. Nobody tells you what to do. When I was growing up coming to America, Kuja Maju, you know, here we used to call it Maju when I was back home. Coming to America was stressful. Like if somebody went to America, we thought it was heaven. Like I grew up thinking like America is just this big heaven. There's just like money growing on trees. Like I remember I used to have this guy who he was like, you know, in America, you can just wake up at night and sweep roads and get money. They used to tell us that. And I was like, I want to go there and sweep roads. I want to go there. Please tell me how to get there. They're like, hey, it's so hard. I don't even know how myself I got there. I think I got there. It's just prayer. You know, I just prayed. 
and then doors open. But then they don't tell you how the doors open. Once the door open for them, they close them so that so that other people do not get through the same doors. And that's what we are trying to change. If you know of an opportunity, if you know of a way, and I'm so happy that a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, there's people on social media, they're trying to raise awareness to ways of coming to America. I commend them for that. Because growing up, a lot of people, if they had this information, they'll be better. But then guess what? They didn't have this information, so they didn't make it to America. They didn't make it to these foreign countries. Because once people get here, they see opportunities and they will not tell you. Even your relatives, even your family, they come here, they see opportunity. They just want when they come back home, you're like, hey, mkubwa mengia, you know? Mkubwa meshafika, metuka maju. They want to be praised. So instead of like actually giving people fish, it'll be easier. If you bring them here, show them how to come here so that they can fish for themselves. So they don't ask you for fish because you'll be like, I brought here to look for the same fish that I'm looking. So it's your uh, duty to actually make use of the information that I gave you. Let's be a ladder, let's be a bridge. If you know of an opportunity, tell your friend to tell a friend. And that's what I'm gonna be covering in this video. I'll tell your career that you only need two months to graduate and you get a good job. And what is the job? Drums roll, certified nursing assistant. Certified nurse assistant. So this is a job like, like if you work in the hospital, either uh, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you will see people who are helpers on the floor or on the unit or on the clinic, outpatient clinic, so these are people like, for example, like if you need like uh, some patient, like a patient needs to be cleaned, they go in there, they clean the patient. If a patient needs to be moved, they go there, they move the patient. If a patient needs to eat and they're not able to feed themselves, they go in there and they actually feed the patient. They don't do um, like responsibilities that require a license, like, you know, giving medication, like doing all these complex procedures, what they just need to do is the basic stuff. And if you think you like the content of my videos, please subscribe and also share with your friends. If your friends would like to visit America or come here on an immigrant visa, they should subscribe. Uh, make sure you turn the notification bell on. That's really important. So when I upload a video, then you are notified and then you can watch it and start working on uh, how to obtain that visa that I'll be covering. So what they need to do, just the basic stuff. It's just like the way you will take care of your uh, grandmother back home, you'll take care of your sick parent back home, only that in this case, you're getting paid. But what I'm gonna say is, if you don't like to see blood, if you don't like to see uh, urine, if you don't like to see somebody else's poop, if you don't like to see somebody else's throw up, this is not for you not for you because you have to have a strong stomach you know i've worked in the hospital for a very long time so me like you'll throw up or you'll be like you know doing your stuff there you'll be coughing and be like oh whatever i'll just be here eating like it doesn't bother me because like i've seen like you'll be bleeding and i'll be eating like you'll be throwing up and i'll be eating you'll be pooping and i'll be eating like it doesn't affect me very much because i've just gotten used to it i've been around it so much that i'm used to it and let me tell you it starts from somewhere so you won't be perfect let me tell you a story about myself back home the jobs I used to do like teaching and doing all that stuff and I was in business and stuff like that so I never liked sick people I never liked to be around sick people I never liked to visit anybody who was in the hospital I never used to like seeing medicine smelling medicine seeing needles and all that I never used to like that. Like if you're in the hospital and then somebody tells me they were in the hospital, guess who's not coming? Me. I didn't like to see people dying. I didn't like to see people suffering. So I did not like to do that. So when I came here, I was, I'm a type that I want to get there and I want to make it. Like I want to get there and do a job or go to school and start making money because I got stuff to do. I got family to take care of. I got like my own things I need to take care of. I don't like to suffer. So I like to do something that I do. And then in a few, whatever I get, like, you know, a job, I start making money. I don't like to suffer for a very long time. So when I got here, I asked them, what can I do 
to make a decent income. And they told me, if you go to nursing school, and only you can go there, start with two years, and after you get out, you make tons of money. And I'm like, nursing, hospital? They're like, yeah, you work in the hospital, and you make money. Now, fuller hard money. Need this kia pesa. The next thing I was enrolled in nursing school. The next thing I was in nursing school, I was over there crying while I was studying because I, they told me I needed to make money. But then I didn't realize like nursing comes with challenges. Like you go there, you have to give people injections that I don't like to see needles. Now I've actually, I have to poke somebody with a needle. So that's what I'm saying is sometimes you do stuff, not because that's what, that was what you dreamt that you're going to do. I never thought I was going to be uh, a nurse or like work with patients and stuff like that at some point. But guess what? Sometimes life forces you into doing stuff. That's why when you come here and you are wearing a suit back home, don't think like working as a CNA will make you look less significant or less uh, respectable. What I can say is what brings you food on the table? What pays your bills? That's what you should focus on. And like for nursing, like I don't advocate for nursing. You can, there's other careers out there. Like I'm a nurse and I'm also, I do business. So I'm two in one. So you can do nursing and then you can do other stuff. So you don't have to do nursing a hundred percent. But what I can say is nursing is easy to get into. Like I was talking about a CNA. You get here, you start doing like, you know, you go to school for two months. And after you go to school for two months, guess what? You get a job in a hospital or you get a job um, in a nursing home or you get a job like watching people at home. And you can make like 50,000 or 60,000 a year in New York. And you can work overtime. Some people work 16 hours, 16 hours, 16 hours. You don't sleep. You're tired. But guess what? Money is flowing money is flowing you look at the bank and you don't even feel tired so you can use the cna the good thing about the cna or the certified nurse assistant or uh tech sometimes they call hospital techs or whatever so when you get a job usually these hospital jobs they have full insurance so you and your family will have insurance two it has a stable income so if you need to buy a house or you need to buy a car you need to buy anything that you need to take a mortgage out you can prove you have a consistent income. Third, these CNA jobs in most places, they have a retirement plan. So you don't have to work all your life. You can work, like if you work for the state, you can work for 20 years and then you decide I wanna retire and you can retire and go do about your business. So they have all these benefits. So other than somebody who's like, oh, I can't clean throw up and they're working in a grocery store, you will be way better off and a lot of our african people that's what they're doing here they're doing certified nurse um assistant jobs but you won't know because because guess what when they come back home dude they're balling they have money and to work as a cna you have to be a hard worker you can't be lazy you have to work hard and you have to have compassion. You have to have empathy. You have to have a herd of people to actually work. I remember when I used to um, a management position in a nursing home, I used to manage people. And then we used to like, you know, have people run classes, the CNA classes, our African people, our African people, they show up there. They do like, you know, they work for like a month or two. They're like, you know what? This is not for me. I'm out of here. They come there. They're like, oh, this is a lot of work. I can't do this. And I'm like, you need to work hard. This is if you is paying your bills, stick it out and work hard. And guess what? Usually they leave. So they come over there. They're like, we can't do it. They leave. They go do something else. They realize they don't have the same benefits. They don't have uh, the same retirement plan. And guess what? The next thing they're back there. But the good thing about the CNA job, you'll never run out of a job because people are always leaving and coming back. And when you come back, they will still hire you because they're always needing people to take care of people with there's no enough uh, CNAs to the amount of patients that we have. So you'll always have a job. So it's a consistent income. And all you need to do, you go to school and get, get certified as a CNA. So these classes run for like six weeks to like two months. And then after that, 
you get certified and once you get certified you can work anywhere in the country like you can even move to another state and then that's the only it's gonna be like a ready available job everywhere everywhere in the united states and i'm just talking from experience i'm like this cna's jobs people just like you know underrate them but a lot of our people are doing it and a lot of people are doing very well with it like if you if you're not i know there's some people who are not like you know they don't like patients they cannot be around patients but then if you can be around patient is a quick way like if you invest the money and you don't waste the money you can make a good income and you can be very very successful uh, in America. I remember like sometimes you get CNAs like you are the manager, you're managing uh, a CNA and they are driving better car than you are. Like you are their manager and they're driving better cars than you have. So they make money. It's not like they don't make money. They make money. There's potential. So if you just got here and you're looking for a career that's really quick to make you money, CNA is one of them and just to be clear that i'm not saying i'm not saying like everybody should be a cna i'll be covering other jobs that you can get without going to school for a very long time um like i talked about trucking and then now i'm talking about uh the cna but i'll be talking about other jobs like if hospital is not for you there's some people who cannot just work in a hospital but guess what if that's the only way you can get money Guess what? Some people like in Africa, they didn't even think about cleaning anybody over here. They're perfectly doing it because when you get out, it doesn't right. It's not like right here. Like, oh, you're cleaning people. You're doing whatever. Everybody's like, how much money do you have? What car do you drive? What house do you live at? Nobody cares about what you do in America, whether you're a CNA, whether you're a professor, whether you're a doctor, whether you are anybody in America, you can be anything you want to be. So just to review, certified nurse assistant you go to school for like four weeks six weeks eight weeks after that you get certified as a cna and then once you get certified you can either work in a nursing home just helping around or you can work in the hospital uh you know helping you know patients like nurses uh if they want to do something with the patient you can help them and number three you can also work as a home home health uh cna where you go to people's houses and you take care of family members who are sick in the house and you make good money you get a decent income you get good insurance you get good retirement plans so either way it's a win-win situation there's no shame about being a cna there's no shame about working in the grocery store there's no shame about being anything as long as it pays your bills go for it as long as your bills are paid you're living the good life, you're helping people back home and everything is getting done. You're building investments back home with that money. You won't be doing the CNA for a very long time because guess what? Once you get a job as a CNA, that hospital will pay for you to go to nursing school. So when you go to nursing school, it's like you're going for free so you can benefit by them actually sponsoring your education. You can go to nursing school, get your bachelor's degree. After that, get your nurse practitioner degree. And guess what? You started from a CNA and now you're opening your practice and now you're seeing patients. Now you are the provider. So you start as a CNA and guess what? You become a nurse practitioner or you become a physician assistant. And guess what? You take your patients and nobody's gonna say you are CNA before. You'll be the big, big person. So what I can say is start as a CNA. If you don't like it, improve on it, improve on it. And the way when you get your associate degrees in nursing, your pay increases. You get your bachelor's degree in nursing, your pay increases. You get your nurse practitioner. Now you are a provider. You can open your own practice and actually start seeing patients so patients who you are cleaning at one point or now if they need a provider to prescribe medications to see like diagnosis what's going on with them guess what you will be doing it you started as a cna now you end up as a nurse practitioner and that's what we advocate for uh, with immigrants is the growth you start from the bottom and now you're here thanks for watching